Hi, I'm James. I'm a Supreme Court Certified Legal Document Preparer here at Discount Divorce. Clients ask me all the time, what's the difference between a Chapter 7 and a Chapter 13 bankruptcy? Well, simply put, a Chapter 7 bankruptcy, which is sometimes, by the way, called a straight bankruptcy, you receive a discharge of almost all your debts, usually within about four months. In a vast majority of cases, most people have no assets that you would lose in a Chapter 7 bankruptcy. So how do you know if your assets are protected? That's another great question. When you sit down with one of our representatives during your initial consultation, we will explain all the available exemptions to you. Keep in mind that one of the main purposes of bankruptcy law is to give a person who is hopelessly burdened with debt a fresh start by wiping out their debts. A Chapter 13, on the other hand, is also known as reorganization bankruptcy. Individuals who want to pay off their debts over a period of, say, three to five years file Chapter 13 bankruptcies. This type of bankruptcy appeals to individuals who have non-exempt property that they want to keep. It is also an option for individuals who have income that is sufficient to pay their reasonable expenses with some amount left over after they pay off their debts. The most common question I get is, if I file bankruptcy, will my creditors stop harassing me? Yes. By law, all actions against you must cease once the case is filed. Creditors cannot initiate or continue any lawsuits, wage garnishments, or even telephone calls demanding payments. However, secured payments such as a lien on a car will not in most cases be stopped if you are behind on your payments. In other words, if you are behind on your car payment, then the bank can still repossess your car. However, the bankruptcy should relieve you of any debt or obligations regarding that automobile. It is also important to point out that some debts may not be forgiven. Debts like child support and alimony, restitution for drunk driving, government guaranteed student loans, or income tax debt. Also, any debt from a luxury item or service purchased over the last 90 days. The most common reason I see for bankruptcy is unemployment, large medical expenses, seriously overextended credit, and marital problems like divorce. It is not uncommon for people to file more than once in a lifetime also. However, keep in mind that if you have filed before, you cannot file again within eight years of your last filing. It is also common for people to worry that their boss may fire them if they file for bankruptcy. Federal law in most cases prohibits your employer from discriminating against you for going bankrupt. It is simple to get started with discount divorce and bankruptcy. Most clients begin by completing a questionnaire and making a list of all the creditors that they owe. It is important to note that this list should include the addresses of all the creditors. If you're in doubt as to who you owe, most people obtain a copy of their credit report. We recommend using Advantage Plus Credit Reporting Incorporated located at 7998 West Thunderbird Road, Suite Number 109, Peoria, Arizona 85381 because we find that they have the most complete and accurate reports. Also, the bankruptcy court will require you to disclose a list of all your assets. We recommend that you gather up any deeds, automobile titles, and documents relating to wages earned. You may obtain a questionnaire by coming into our office at 13817 North 19th Avenue, Phoenix, Arizona. That's on the northeast corner of 19th Avenue and Thunderbird Road or we can fax you a questionnaire, or you may obtain one from our website at discountdivorceaz.com. Simply click on the Get Started button and follow the simple instructions. For more information, visit our website at discountdivorceaz.com or call us at 602-896-9020. I hope that this video answered your questions.